five minutes after nine o'clock. It is time for Veterans News. Gary Pascal and Joe Martone sitting in the captain's seats. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Larry, and all listeners throughout the WOCA listening area and veterans. I should say listeners of the support of veterans, huh? That's all right. Amen here. to that. And it's, go. it, it's good to be here on this beautiful Ocala morning. Uh, we do have to start the, the morning off on a little bit of a sad note. We've lost quite a few uh, firefighters and two law enforcement officers uh, this past week. So we're going to start with the firefighters. We got firefighter Larry Marsack, who is with the Fayette County Office of Emergency Management in LaGrange, Texas. His date of death was March 23rd. We have Lieutenant Tom Cragio, who was with the Pratt, West Virginia Fire Department in Pratt, West Virginia. His date of death was March the 24th. We have Firefighter Michael Edwards, who uh, was also with the Pratt, West Virginia Fire Department. His date of death was also March 24th. We have Firefighter Zachary Anthony, who was with the York City Department of Fire Rescue Services in York, Pennsylvania. His date of death was March the 22nd. And we have Firefighter Michael R. Davidson, who was with the New York City Metro Fire Department in Brooklyn, New York. His date of death was March the 27th. And we have Special Agent Melissa S. Morrow, who was with the United States Department of Justice, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Her end of watch was Thursday, March the 22nd. And we have Police Officer Andres Laza Caballero. He was with the June Coast Municipal Police Department in Puerto Rico. His end of watch was March 21st. Our thoughts and our prayers go out to the families of these firefighters and law enforcement officers, Larry. Uh, Well, you know, we couldn't be here if it wasn't for our sponsors, so we want to take a minute to thank our sponsors. Um, and Joe, personally, I thank you and, and your wonderful station here at WOCA. More than welcome, more than welcome. And we want to thank the great folks at Hires Baxley. Hires Baxley has had generations of families honor them with their trust and confidence, and they believe it's because of the last 128 years their team of caring professionals have established a reputation of serving families with excellence and compassion. Hires Baxley currently partners with the Boy Scouts of America, Troop Number 72, to properly dispose of decommissioned American flags. They're also a drop-off location for programs, cell phones for soldiers, and helping to provide minutes that matter and helping heroes home. Hires Baxley is located at 910 East Silver Springs Boulevard in Ocala. You can call them with any questions at 
352-629-7171. Or you can go on the World Wide Web and simply Google hires dash baxley dot com and I also want to add that they partner with Veterans Helping Veterans to provide food items and personal hygiene items for veterans and we thank them very much uh, for all their help Joe oh fantastic Gary you do a good job every Thursday morning doing that you know that I thank you you get a little heart in there you get a little heart in there good people good people Veterans News is also brought to you by Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery they're located at 2610 Southeast 38th Street in Ocala. And when it comes to landscaping, Bob Wines has what you need. Everything from small plants to large trees, mulch, fertilize, and so much more. Bob Wines will even deliver, plant, and guarantee their trees. Bob Wines Community Garden and Nursery has been keeping you blooming since 1952. Give them a call. 629-5766. That's 629-5766. We're only questions you might have on what they have in there in stock. Remember, if you're a veteran, you get 10% off with proper identification. In other words, no phony baloney's going over there and <clears throat> trying to take advantage of the things, you know. And they're planting, they planted a tree in, in my yard. Uh, they came, sh- dug the hole and whatever, put it in. And they guaranteed a tree. But... You have to water it every single day for the first week. Then the second week is every other day. So they, they give you this perimeter to do. You know, you, have, you just don't say, set it and forget it. Ah, set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. And if you get a chance to go out there, you know, in addition to all of the plants they have outside, they got a wonderful greenhouse with all kinds of neat stuff when you walk through it. Mm-hmm. So if you like plants, that's the place to go. There we go. We've got a lot of things happening coming up. <clears throat> and... Well, we're going to start to talk about the <coughs> Memorial Wall, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll come back and talk some more about the Memorial Wall, because it's coming here. Well, here, we'll do this first, then we'll go to Memorial Wall after the break. The Mar- uh, Marion County Veterans Services and the Marion County Veterans Council cordially invite you to join them for the quarterly memorial ceremony. It's coming up April 14th, two weeks away, at 10 a.m., at the Ocala Marion County Veterans Memorial Park. It's a Saturday, by the way, at 2601 Southeast Fort King in Ocala. Fort King Street in Ocala right here. And that's a quarterly memorial thing that they do. And if that if that address seems close, it's because it's really close to the Veterans Helping Veterans. And when we have a moment, I'm going to do a shout-out <clears throat> to Yendo's Building Materials because uh, Clark Yendo... Uh, had these little boxes, and in these boxes had all all types of food. I should have had you bring one. I forgot because you read it off, and he comes it even comes with utensils to, to eat the food with and everything. But it's it's uh, it's perishable. It's not like not like like the military stuff that lasts for 14 years. It's perishable. But we we got a donation of at least 100 boxes from him, and there's more. He said we'd have more if we needed, and we're going to be giving them out to the, the needy veterans in the area. Uh, I, f- I forgot what, what's in there. Do you remember what's oh, in there? there? There's all kinds of good stuff in there. You know, I think you get a little bit of fruit. Uh, you get a can of usually ravioli or something like that. And the nice thing about it, like you said, you get the forks and the spoons, so somebody living in a car or something can eat it. Um, you know, somebody. Kent City or whatever. Kent yeah, City or. If you're a veteran, um, so you just stop by and uh, they have a, 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 a hold me over kind of thing. And it was nice, nice of uh, Clark from uh, Clark Yendels uh, from Yendel Building Supply uh, to offer that. And then, uh, of course, I just happened to be there and I spoke up. <laughs> and then Gary put the pieces together and went. And then he went and picked it all up from uh, Yendel's Building and, Supply. And it's good when folks give us this kind of stuff because you know we keep these kind of meals not only to supplement the groceries we give out, but if somebody comes in late in the day or they're staying in a motel, I got four kids, you know, I don't have money to go to Burger King or nothing, you give them five or six boxes of that, and then next day they come in, and, you know, and then you know, and they get their groceries and stuff like that, the regular groceries, so that they really work well. And, Very good. Uh, we, we appreciate it. Yeah. Well, we're we going to take our break that. now, and then we'll be right back with more of AMO Cal Live and Veterans News. 
Can you think of a better place to buy trees than at Bob Wines Camellia Gardens? We cannot, especially since you buy one and get one at half price. Examples? A larger tree of your choice, 5 to 7 feet tall, just $59, and get a second one just like it for half price. How about a citrus tree? Bob has orange, tangelo, tangerine, lemon, lime, kumquat, plumello, grapefruit, and more, with prices starting as low as $59.99. Inside the greenhouse, hundreds of outstanding buys with decor galore. Most everything is 10% off and a lot of stuff is 20% off. Just in Encore Ever Blooming Southern Living Azaleas at a super low price they bloom all year round. Don't wait. Check the ad and hurry to Bob Wines Camellia Gardens. Southeast 38th Street Ocala. Daily till 4.30 Saturdays till 3. Locally grown, family owned, same blooming place since 1952. Direct connects to UCF where students who attend the College of Central Florida and graduate with an AA or articulated AS degree are guaranteed admission to the University of Central Florida. Success coaches are ready and waiting to assist you in designing an educational plan that is right for you in any of their locations across Central Florida. Remember, connecting is easy and guaranteed. Find out more at directconnecttoucf.com. Experience the thunder of the largest air show in the South as Sun and Fun returns to the skies of Lakeland, April 10th through 15th. This is your chance to see the precision of the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, the might of the Tora Tora Tora, a Pearl Harbor reenactment, and over 60 high-powered aerial performances. Walk the flight lines among historic warbirds and today's modern military aircraft. Exhibitors showing the latest in aviation technology, many with hands-on displays. This is your chance to truly engage the past, present, and future of aviation. Plus, don't forget to take advantage of the Florida Resident Weekend Special, Saturday, April 14th and Sunday, April 15th, and get three shows for the price of one. Enjoy the afternoon show. Stay for the night show with its amazing wall of fire, aerobatic flyers, plus a fireworks display, and then return Sunday for an additional show for free. Make plans now to bring the whole family and experience the thunder at the Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo. Children under 10, free. For additional ticket information and show schedules, visit flysnf.org. Oh, my goodness. You're going to go see the fire and the, the sun fly. I think I might go this year. I might go check that out. We have some uh, news for yeah, us? Yeah, and we're going to, you know, we're going to talk about the, the wall a little bit. But mm-hmm. uh, today is National Vietnam War Veterans Day. And it's going to be honoring veterans of that war and their families. It's the first anniversary of the day after President Trump signed into law the Vietnam War. Veterans War Recognition Act of 2017, which was authorized by Congress in 2012. The Department of Defense will conduct a wreath-laying ceremony at the Vietnam Wall. For years, the Vietnam War was so decisive that many felt it hasn't been talked about or its veterans recognized in the ways that veterans of other wars have. And, Joe, we know that to be true, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, there was no, no brass band when I got back. That's for sure. Got off the plane with my, and got my sea bag and <laughs> met my parents and we home. And that was the end of that. Yeah, and there was no parades or no recognition for a long, long, long time. And I think the strangest <clears throat> thing was that, um, you know, in the very early seventies, um, if we had to fly somewhere, like on leave or something, they mm-hmm. told us, "Don't fly in uniform." Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I was but, there. Uh, I was flying coast to coast at that time of the. At that time, I was I was stationed well Vietnam, so you was going from the west coast to the east coast. Yeah. And you know, I, it just struck me because I was so proud, you know, to get a uniform. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, times have changed. Yeah, they, they sure have. And, and, and of course, that falls right into the the Vietnam traveling wall. I'll be here at the Marion County Veterans Memorial Park at the Fort King here. May 24th through the 28th, and Friday the 20, uh, 25th, May 25th, at 10 a.m. is the opening ceremonies. So please join us as we pledge to keep the memories of those lost alive and honor their sacrifices. So Thursday, the wall will be arriving with a motorcycle escort, and they'll be, they'll be staging at 441 and 326, tentatively at 0900 hours. And all motorcycles are invited, and so motorcyclists are invited. So no matter what you ride, 
bring bring it on, as they say. No, it's my understanding that mm-hmm. <coughs> this is the first time it's been in Ocala, right? In Ocala proper. He, no, it's been in Ocala before. Okay, so your understanding is a little little warped there, but it's, a, it's been around the area. I know I know it's been in the Nellin and it's been in Marion County, but in, as far as in the, in Ocala, in our in, park though, it's in your it's park. Maybe that might be the first time in the park there. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, let's see on the on the Friday. We'll do we'll do it this way. It's going to be music by the St. Paul Church. Uh, uh, Saturday, the P O W M I I M. IA table will be a presentation uh, again on Saturday. The flag history program, uh, Sunday, the chaplain program and choir, uh, Marion uh, Civil Choir, uh, the Memorial Day program, and of course, uh, closing ceremonies on the 28th. And the park will also have on display now, this I want to they got to truck this in the UE helicopter. Lots of that's going to be on a flatbed. I don't think they're going to fly that sucker in. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Uh, there's no place to land it there, so it'll be coming in on a flatbed. Uh, there'll be track vehicles, combat uh, veterans memorial truck, the Nautilus sub replica, other combat combat vehicles, uh, visits from a Black Hawk. There'll be, of course, food trucks and other displays. And uh, if you want to give them a shout, in more questions, you give them a call, 352-671-6847. 671-6847. That'll be the Vietnam Veteran Traveling Wall. And that is, I've heard it's something to see. Of course, I was lucky enough early, earlier on, uh, I guess it was the early 80s, I, I went to the one in Washington, D.C., the, the original one. And, and unfortunately, I, I knew a name that was on there, you know, but... Uh, <clears throat> That's another story for another time, but it was it was uh, uh, people with the pencils and the paper, you know, and they and they, and they, they put it against the wall to, to get the the name uh, onto the paper, and they take it home and all the. And I heard something. I was last month somebody defaced it or something. It was like, are you? Yeah, serious? I, I seen that on the news. Are you serious? Come on, come on, people, wake wow. up! Yeah, it, it's it's ridiculous. Why? Uh, they do that. So now I'm hoping that Bernard's going to put cameras up there. And unfortunately, you know, but I, that's where our tax dollars would pay. Put the cameras up there and prosecute them to the full extent of the wall, the, the wall, yeah, of the law for defacing the wall. Because I'm sorry, you know, that's that's our history. That's our, our uh, th- those are the men that sacrificed and women that sacrificed the ultimate. You know, they gave their life for for our country. And everybody up there is somebody's son, somebody's brother. Uh, somebody's sister, you know. Um, it, they're not just names. No, no, um, no, no. And, but uh, the whole area, the whole area. Now that they have a lot of the memorials for the Korean War, World War One, World War Two, and and uh, of course the Vietnam, and, and it's 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 a memorial to us keeping democracy and our freedom free. You know, and getting back to uh, what this program is all about, Veterans News. If you have any Veterans News that maybe we don't know about, uh, you're welcome to call in, but make sure it's factual, uh, not hearsay. And if you have any news for us, we'd be more than happy to pass it along. We have you have a whole week in between every broadcast, uh, so uh, give us give us you can go uh, call Veterans Helping Veterans, and that's four three three two three two two zero right. Yeah, that's correct. And if you got something, you know, that, that's good for veterans or, you know, uh, we would be, uh, you know, more than happy to promote it on the time you give us here, Joe. Right, as long as it's not a business. A business, well, a business you, can, you can buy sponsorship for the show. That we appreciate, too. Uh, and that helps veterans. So, you know, buy a sponsorship. We yeah. need more sponsors. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. The, uh, getting back to Veterans Help Veterans, we try to have all the answers. If we don't have them, we will research and get them for you. Uh, people that come into the facility, you're, you know, I'm I'm vice chair with Veterans Helping Veterans, but I don't go to the day-to-day activities. You're there day-to-day, Gary. So you see uh, the veterans coming in with different problems, and that is that is phenomenal how much you can help them get over, I call it getting over the hump. Getting over, don't, don't say the word yes once in a while. Yes. They can't see yes. your head on the radio unless they're looking at the video. Yes, yeah. we, yeah. we spend, our caseworkers um, spend a lot of time with each individual veteran. <clears throat> and they go over all the options um, to help that veteran to make a, the right choice um, to get on the right track or to get whatever help they need. And they don't have to go running all over the place. We have 
so much in our own wonderful building that we're blessed with. A lot of times, like yesterday, there were, you know, there was a female vet that that had some needs, and mm -hmm. it was just a matter of taking her down the hall. And um, you know, that's why I love our veteran center. It's 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 a one that's almost a complete one stop shop. It's like I would say ninety nine percent. At at some point, I, I'm I'm believing that it will be because everything we need is coming. It just might not be there quite yet, uh, but most of the stuff is in place. And um, and right next door is Veteran Services America. Veteran Services, right? So you work, you're working hand in hand. They can send someone to us, a vets helping vets, or vice versa. So it, it's it's a, it's a different different part of what you need. Like they do a lot of the heavy paperwork over there. Where on the veteran help and veteran side, they help facilitate procedures, where to go, why to go, it's who to speak to. Now we know we have, we have two chaplains or one chaplain. We have four chaplains. Well, never mind then. Yeah. <clears throat> plus, plus me, who uh, you know officially went through the course, so you know. Yeah, you're a chaplain. Yeah. I understand that. So they, they, you know. Um, what are the other? What is? What are behind some of the other doors? Well, we have. Um, Scott Young Insurance, uh, him and Gwen, uh, they, they they helped a person yesterday. They didn't even realize that that she was eligible, uh, you know, for uh, certain Medicare benefits. Um, I may, I may well go we talk to we have um, Jenky that that will get you that VA loan. Yeah, um, I may well go talk to her next. We have you know like, like you Keep mentioned going. the chaplains. We have Ledgewood Construction. Who now that one is a, that one's a good one because they'll put in uh, they'll put in a whole bath for you if you, yeah, if you and, qualify and, and what have you. And they do all the, the gritty paperwork. Too. You know they uh, they apply for the grants. Uh, you know they do all the stuff. So you, you just give them the information and they do all the that, footwork for you. That's right. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know if you can't come to them, they'll come to your house. So uh, well, yeah, they would know, eventually have to anyway to put it in. They have thing. to measure everything. We got Marion Technical College there who's doing more and more and getting a bigger role um are they oh that's good they um you know they're going to put a i think a, a, a tv out in the lobby i'm waiting i'm waiting for a call someone over the weekend well we were at the, oh, by the way we we're at the rodeo and we thank everyone last friday for helping us with the 50 50 uh, with the, for veterans helping veterans uh, they we got a nice donation of course the winner was all happy and everything mm -hmm. we had a good time and i met a gentleman and he told me that he is building with his crew a tiny house. And he was either going to get in touch with Veterans Helping Veterans, or I, or I gave him one of my cards, and he's going to call, and he's going to donate the tiny house to Veterans Helping Veterans. So that is going to help one veteran somewhere that if we could find like a little piece of land, if somebody donates a little piece of land, which happens, which is fantastic, we can get that tiny house, put it on the land, Thank you very much. Have a good day. That, that is great. You know, and that's going to be a complete donation. That's not, we're, well, I'll sell it to you. you know, they're going to donate it to Veterans Helping Veterans. Like I said, I gave him my name and uh, number. So hopefully in a week or so he'll be getting in touch with me. Sooner than, sooner than later, as yeah. they say. The, the the people of Marion County, you know, have great hearts and, you know, and they have love for the veterans. And um, I think that's why one of the reasons we're able to be so successful, you know, in vet, at Veterans Helping Veterans. No, oh, everybody, either there's a vet, either you are a veteran, there's a veteran in your family, or you know a veteran. You are always, there are over 55,000 veterans just in Marion County. That's not counting Sumter and Lake County and, and uh, Citrus County. You know, our signal reaches all over the place. And we are, we are in, in for the long haul. We're here to help the veterans. So if you, you hear my voice and you know someone that's mm, not sure about something, 433-2320. And at that note, we're going to close it out. You're saying, Gary, if you would, please. For Hank Whittier, I just want to say, God bless America. <laughs>